everything was on the table. We would tackle every question that was important to the students, and we would bring to them the people who could answer those questions. Bang your head against the wall and try and find a relationship where you can say, screw it, and just go out and have sex like a man. I see the opposite side of what that mentality has done. And you know, about half of the world's population live in below replacement fertility countries. Half the world's population. And fertility is declining everywhere. I'm the person that people tell things to that they won't tell anybody else. I'm the one that hears the stories. They will tell me their secrets. And they don't tell you in the porn credits about the girl who's curled up in a ball in the corner. When women are, are on the pill, they are attracted to a male who is not like they would have been attracted to if they weren't on the pill. So I went about justifying my abortion as best I could by telling other women how great abortion was. I felt um, replaceable. I felt used and Three months into the pregnancy, I sat her down for lunch and said, I'm, I'm just not ready to be a dad. I think I'm probably going to leave you. But I couldn't say anything. I was so afraid that I wouldn't be. And so. And you can see that in the diagram up there. But you'll notice on the left-hand side that the creation of the universe, G-O-D, is not written there. What is written is quantum fluctuation. And there has to be some biological approach that helps us to think about God, to pray to God, to feel about God. But if you set it up wrongly to begin with, there's no going back. But how do you recover if the average age is six years old? I mean, grandparents are the norm, but they don't have grandchildren. If you are willing to follow your questions out about science, you'll find yourself in front of a mystery which transcends the categories of time and space and, and science itself. What kept you going through that? My son kept me going. He's the one that uh, motivates and inspires me. You know, I decided that if the Lord knew all of this, and if he called me to marriage, then surely there was a man that was the best way. And he just said to me, Jesus loves you. And I remember I almost went bang against this lift. I mean, my conversion was the biggest experience of my life. And to find out that she was praying for me in that way, I mean, God is so cool and, and, and so amazing. But you're not a cash register where people are going to make money from you. You're a person. You have an inherent dignity, and no one can take it from you. But you can give it away.